Ramen pizza, you guys. I've always wanted to try this. I've never had the time to, but now that I have nothing else to do, let's do it. Hi everyone, my name is Hilary Duff. Welcome to Koali Pops. Let's get started. Now before we get into this video, there are links in the description box so you can help donate to organizations that are helping fight the coronavirus. We are all affected by this. So if you can donate, please do. So for lunch today, I really wanted to eat pizza, but I didn't have pizza dough and I also don't want to order food yet. Delivery people licking the boxes. I'm not a fan of that. Ooh, that's not right. So I don't completely agree with what I just said. Yes, I did watch a few videos of delivery men licking the boxes. Gross me out. But that's not happening everywhere to every package. And it is said that 30% of restaurants will not be able to reopen once the pandemic ends. So if you have a favorite restaurant and you have the money to order food for them now, please do. That way, when everything gets back to normal, you can have yourself a seat at the restaurant and eat your favorite dish. So I decided to make my own. With ramen! I saw this recipe on Tastemade. I've got to alter it just a little bit because I don't have all the ingredients that they use. But I'm still excited to try this. So let's get to it. So for this, you're gonna need ramen noodles. And I got three packs here because I think I'm gonna make three different types of pizza. Hot water and your toppings. I am making three different types. I thought I'd make a basic pepperoni and cheese. I don't know how long this has been in my fridge, but that's okay. And I thought I'd make a cheese pizza with all the cheeses from the party pack. And I was able to find Spam at my parents' house. So we got some Spam, we got a little bit of eggs, and I thought that'd be good with some Alfredo sauce. So we got that going on. I've got marinara sauce or Italian sausage garlic. I'm gonna make spaghetti at some point, so I have that. And then I got fresh garlic from Costco. And the good thing about quarantine and being alone is that you don't have to kiss anybody, which means you can add as much garlic as you want. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do once your water is started to boil, there's little bubbles there. I was gonna wait a little bit longer, but I'm not patient enough. You're gonna boil your ramen, so you're just going to add the squares into your pot. Ooh, and it drops the temperature down because I didn't boil it properly, but that's okay, I don't care. It's not that serious, just like that. And you're gonna cook it, but you're not gonna cook it all the way through. You're gonna take it out when it kind of just starts to break apart from the square shape. I'm just gonna turn it over like I'm cooking meat, but I'm not cooking meat. Oh, you can already start to feel that it's getting soft. Okay. There we go. The thing that I heard about this is that it's kind of dangerous to eat it, but it's not the actual noodles. These are not dangerous. It's the amount of sodium that's in the packets. Okay, maybe I should have waited till it boiled, but that's okay, I don't care. I'm gonna start beating my egg because I'm gonna have to mix two eggs into this mixture so that when it creates the crust for the pizza, it'll actually hold its shape. It didn't actually even get to a boil. <laughs> We're gonna have to take our ramen out before it actually gets to boil because they're almost done, look. All right, so it just started boiling, you guys, but it's time to take it out. Oh, it's too much. Oh, is this good? Oh my God, that's okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, so here's our ramen. We're gonna add some stuff to it. We're gonna add eggs. Oh, I like eggs. I'm supposed to add Parmesan to it as well, but I don't have Parmesan. I'm gonna add some melted butter, a whole lot of garlic, and then also a ton of black pepper because I love black pepper. We're just gonna mix it up. Oh, it smells good. I could eat it like this. Oh, but there's egg, Never mind. I thought chopsticks would be a good idea for this, but no, I'm not so sure. Oh, here's technique. Well, maybe I should add some mozzarella to this since I don't have Parmesan. How much? Like that. Ooh, I'm liking it. It smells delicious. I added so much butter to this. Our noodles? A G to G. Good to go. They're good to go. Alright, so I've got my baking sheet. I've got my noodles. And I'm just going to create three equal portions and turn them into circles. Right? Or s sort of circles. I don't know. These might be bigger than I thought. I thought these were going to be tiny. 
Oh my gosh. You can smell all that butter. I put way too much butter. Oh my god, these are gonna taste phenomenal. Phenomenal woman. And I saw on Tasty they do it like in a cast iron skillet, but I wanted to make three different pizzas, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Them as round as possible. Smooth them out, just like this. Good! Now I'm gonna start to add my filling. So we're gonna start with the regular one. For the regular one, I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese first, just cuz. Oh man, I'm definitely not thinking about my waistline. Then we're gonna add some pepperoni. Pep oh, no, wrong, wrong step. We're gonna add some spaghetti sauce. You're supposed to use marinara? Oh, there's chunks of sausage in this. Wow, what a beautiful surprise. So we're gonna make sure that we create the perfect crust. Even crust, sometimes when you go to get pizza, it's like part of the crust is super thin and then other parts is really thick. Come on guys, I paid like $10 for this. You can't make sure that it's an inch everywhere. It's crazy. People are crazy these days. Cheese, 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 cheese. Oh, I got it on the crust. Oh, look at me, I'm a monster. Look at that, okay. Now it's time for this. So we got some pepperoni going on everywhere. Pepperoni. Oh, that was perfect. Look at that. One pizza done. Let's move on to the next. Same thing. We're going to add some cheese first. Okay, mm so we've got pepper jack. We've got some of this Kobe. Oh, but I don't want it like that. I want the whole thing to be like all of the cheeses. So I'm going to cut it into like tiny squares. Everywhere cheese. We got a whole bunch of garlic. This is gonna be a bomb pizza. I'm excited. Is this too much cheese? Screw it. Put it all, put it all everywhere. Oh my god, I hope you stay in the middle and don't just like drip down the side. I still want a crust, okay? Oh, this is lovely. Lovely. Super lovely. And black pepper. Now for our last pizza. Buy it. Cheese onto here. I want this to be a white pizza, so I'm gonna add Alfredo sauce. Yes! Okay, that's good. We're doing good. Looking good. So I'm going to add spam! Oh, I cut it into like, oh, these little strips like that. Just put it everywhere. And the reason I'm gonna leave a hole in the middle is because I'm gonna crack an egg in the middle of this halfway through baking. So that I have like a sunny side up egg, hopefully. A little more cheese. Get out! So these are our pizzas, look at that. We got pepperoni. We got a bunch of cheese. We got a breakfast. So this goes into the oven for 15 minutes. And halfway through the baking process, I'm going to add an egg to the top of my spam one. Hopefully, I'm hoping that it just stays like a sunny side up egg for the rest of the time that's cooking. Because I, I really want the runny yolk. Or should I do it at five? Five minutes? See, this is where it sucks for me. Because to you, this is just a cutscene. But for me, I actually have to wait the 15 minutes. Ta da! Our pizza's done. I burned it a little bit. That's <laughs> for it. Grab this. Look at that crust underneath. It looks good. That's good. Oh. Oh, I love the crunchiness of the crust. You know how like the noodles are still kind of separated even though you added some sort of binder? I know that this is a food I'm eating in quarantine, but I would serve this at a party. Cheese pizza. It's so hot. Oh, God. It's so good. So the top cheese is really crispy because I left it in too long. I forgot to set a timer. I know, it's okay. But the cheese underneath is still very gooey. And it feels just like you're eating a whole bunch of cheese because some of the noodles are still like really soft. And it just, just feels like cheese on top of cheese on top of cheese. Down the middle so that it drips. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my God, that's so good. So we have yolk on the knife and I'm just going to edit. Don't let this go to waste. Don't let this egg yolk go to waste at all.
Oh my god. Wow. This is the heaviest slice out of the three because of the Alfredo sauce. But then you got the, like the salt of the spam. And then you have the egg white. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Is this even considered a pizza anymore? I don't think so, but it is bomb. I didn't think I was gonna be this happy after making this, but I am. Now there are two things I would change if I could go back in time. First is that I would bake this on tin foil as opposed to parchment paper so that the bottom of the crust could get really crusted. Nice and golden brown, even more so than this. So the second would be when I took it out of the oven to add the egg on top, I would remember to set the timer again so that it didn't burn like this, but it's still good burnt. So I'm not even that mad, but I'm curious, would you guys try this at home? You should while you're in quarantine. I think it's the best. You can make personal sized pizzas, which means you and your kids can all try a different topping. Update. So I made it again for breakfast. It's day two. What day exactly? Apparently it's Thursday. So for this pizza, I decided to make it in an iron skillet. I was gonna do it originally in an iron skillet, but I decided to make three different pizzas and they wouldn't fit in this skillet. So that's why I did it on a baking tray. And you can tell that there's more of a crust. It's so much more golden brown underneath. I think the overall appearance of the pizza just looks bomb. And also I didn't burn it. Did you see? I, I put a timer. Now there are a lot of things you can do with ramen. I'm trying to figure out how to make a ramen burger or a ramen chicken sandwich because you can use it as a bun right so you can just fill anything even like a ramen sandwich a ramen grilled cheese hold on hold on I'm gonna be as creative as I can while I'm in quarantine because why not? I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Let me know if there's something that you've seen on TikTok or on Instagram that you'd like to see me try. I'm, I'm totally down. I love you. Stay safe. Stay home. I'll see you soon. Peace.